Well, praise the Lord. This is Bill Prankud, and I've got great news for you. This is a summer of miracles, and it's a summer of miracles for you. And let me tell you, I've got, I've got some great things to share with you, and I just want to encourage you just to take a couple of minutes of your time to listen to this. The Bible says if there's any good report, think about these things. Our mission is the ends of the earth. You know, the vision Canada was founded on was that he would have dominion from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. And our, our forefathers of the nation of Canada felt that was the Arctic. Well, we have the privilege of being the only ministry that's ministering right around the Arctic Circle, and across the top of Russia, across the top of Canada, and seeing amazing things happen. And I want to read the scripture to you from Isaiah chapter 52, verse 10. The last part of it says, And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. I have hung on to that scripture for many years now. Ever since I started going north about 42 years ago. And let me tell you something, we are seeing miracles. This is the greatest month we've ever had. Our ministry has just stepped up what we're doing. I feel an urgency that there are people who still have not yet heard. There's a generation of young people that have had no hope and they need to be injected with hope at the ends of the earth. And we have the privilege of doing this and seeing the results. So last April, Stephen Carlton and I and a team went up to Baffin Island, uh, Cape Dorset, and did the first Arctic Hope Project. And out of that has come a, a wonderful core of young men and women that are changing that community, gathering in the church several nights a week to, to pray, 30 to 40 of them, and just to believe God for their community and working with the elders to make positive changes. That's really happening right now. Many of these young people were suicidal. At the same time, across Hudson's Bay, uh, right on the Arctic Circle, in a wonderful community called Now Yet, which used to be Repulse Bay, we are building an Arctic Hope Center. And it is so exciting to see the progress of that. This month, the roof is on, the walls are going on, the, the inside is beginning to be finished, and next spring we're going to dedicate that. And that is going to be a beacon of light in the Arctic. And at the same time, our team in Russia is getting ready to go up in the Arctic Circle and minister to people who have never yet heard the gospel, take them supplies, food, and clothing, and give them the good news. Now, this is what I want to share with you. In order to see the building completed, we have authorized Jeff Fransky, our, our man on the, on the job up there who's overseeing this and doing much of the work, uh, to hire several young men who can do the lifting and the carrying and things. And we're only giving them $10 an hour. But these are young Inuit men who want to learn construction. And so they're working uh, week after week with Jeff. That was unexpected. At the same time, our team in Russia is going and uh, we've just sent them just close to $5,000. But $5,000 US, which, which uh, with our dollar being so low, you, you compound uh, you know, another um, huge chunk on top of that. So I'm going to ask you to do something right now. I'm going to ask every one of you to sow into the most neglected and forgotten mission field in the world and give a gift of $20. Now, I think you thought I was going to ask for more than that. I, if every one of you gave a gift of $20, all the needs would be met and we'd be able to do so much more in the North. I was just up there in July. Stephen was up in Cape Dorset hearing great reports about what's happening up there. The testimonies are phenomenal. Communities are being changed. And for $20 donation, you can be part of that. And think about it, for a gift of $20, you, you, can, you can pay the salary of one of these young Inuit men for two hours. For a gift of $100, you could take care of a family in Russia who needs to hear the gospel, give them food and supplies and clothing for an entire month or more. And so I'm asking you to go to the link right here on this, this uh, site and uh, click on and donate. Every one of us could do that. 
Uh, Gwen and I will do this. I'm asking you to do it. A gift of $20. You might want to do more and that's great. But I'm believing God for hundreds of you to say, you know what? I can do this. And during a summer miracles, I want to sow. And as you sow a gift of $20, into this mission field. And you can let us know what you want it to go for, whether Arctic Russia, Arctic Canada, the building, the Arctic Hope Project with the young people, whatever it is. Stephen is going back up to um, uh, now yet in just a couple of weeks towards the end of August with a team from Peterborough, and they're gonna be doing outreach in the entire community. All of this costs a great deal of money. This is a mission field. Would you help us right now? I believe the words from Isaiah are going to be fulfilled that all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of the Lord. So right now, would you give us a gift of $20? I promise you every penny of it will go to reaching people at the ends of the earth. And I wanna pray right now that in the name of Jesus, that as you sow, it you shall reap. In Jesus' name, as you give, it shall be given back to you. I declare your summer miracles and abundance. Thank you, Lord, that we can have a part and partner together in seeing the ends of the earth, see the salvation of the Lord, and seeing the north saved and the gatekeepers of our nation in the north rise up and into the authority that you have for them. I pray that in Jesus' name, amen and amen. On behalf of so many people at the very ends of the earth, thank you for caring enough to make a gift today of $20. God bless you.